Like most multicellular creatures, plants have a particular structure as to basically how their body kind of goes together. There's two major regions to a plant. There's the stem and then the roots. The stem of, typically is above ground, although some plants have horizontal or even underground stems. And they generally are helping support the leaves. Then the roots are typically below ground and they're uh, specialized to absorb water and other minerals from the soil. They are connected by vascular tissue that helps transport the materials being created by the leaves and the stem down to the roots and transport materials from the roots up to the stem and leaves. Now the stem is made up of three different tissues. There's the dermal tissue that is kind of like our skin and it protects the underlying uh, other tissues. The ground tissue helps give a little bit of structure but um, sometimes it's involved in uh, doing photosynthesis. Then there's the vascular tissue, typically made of uh, xylem and phloem, and those get arranged into bundles. Now, depending on the species of plant, you may have monocots, where you'll have the vascular bundles that you can see here in this cutaway view of a celery. You can see they're kind of scattered somewhat randomly, versus the rings of vascular tissue that you'll see in dicotyledons, or dicots. Now, in the stem, you'll have these regions called nodes, and that's where uh, branches will come off of and you'll have the uh, leaf coming off of there. And the leaf you can see here is held on by the petiole to the uh, stem. And you'll also have what are called uh, buds where new uh, leaves or new branches could grow from. The internode is the region between nodes, hence the name inter which means between a node. Roots on the other hand, they have one primary root with a bunch of secondary roots coming off of it with thousands of root hairs coming off of individual cells. And that, the purpose of the root hair is to give a much greater surface area to volume ratio to allow the plant to absorb a lot more water from the soil. It has four layers. The epidermis, which again is kind of like our epidermis in that it protects the uh, growing root and keeps unwanted material out. There's the cortex, which is usually used for the storage of food, such like the cortex uh, that makes it much of a potato. Then there's the endodermis. That's a thin layer, a single-celled layer that helps control what can come in and out of the vascular bundles. This is your last security uh, station, essentially. And it has this layer uh, called the Casparian strip, which forces materials out of the cell walls and across the cell membrane of the endodermis. Finally, you have the vascular tissue that helps transport um, materials up and down the entire plant.